None of this has any, any usable protein. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today I will be reacting to Caitlin Shoemaker. Caitlin has 720,000 subscribers, so a very, very large following, and she's recommending a vegan diet to her audience. Let's see what she eats in a day. Yup. A classical start for a what I eat in a day. Coffee, as I said many times before, is toxic. When you're drinking coffee, you're essentially poisoning yourself. Your body starts releasing adrenaline, a stress hormone that gives you a state of alertness, of readiness, of wakefulness. This is, of course, not real energy. Real energy comes from either sugar or from fat, from energy derived from food. Adrenaline that is secreted through the ingestion of caffeine is nothing but stress for your body, is nothing but toxic for your body. Not a good start to your day. And guys, if you have to drink coffee, if you absolutely must, please don't do it like Caitlin here and drink coffee on an empty stomach. This makes it even more poisonous. Try to drink coffee with butter or with milk. Try to mix it, to blend it with something and please, not on an empty stomach. Like this, the caffeine gets secreted slowly. It doesn't hit you as radically with that your receptor sites stay fresher. Do yourself a favor. If you want to drink coffee, make a meal out of it and drink it after solid food. It's smoothie time. All right, let's stop right there. We had bananas, raspberries, nothing but sugar and a little bit of vitamin C. Now we proceed with chocolate protein powder. Hey, let's say at least she's getting some protein. However, to get protein as a vegan, you have to drink isolated protein powders like she does. If you want to get your protein from whole food sources, you will fail miserably. It is absolutely impossible to get adequate protein from plants. This is why you have to drink synthetic gunk. Always the same. <sighs> Chia seeds. I'm sure you want to get those good omega-3s. This is a myth. Try it out yourself. See what happens if you drink chia seeds. They come out the other end. You won't absorb any omega-3 of seeds. Great nut butter, coconut yogurt. Yet again, just a dairy craving, just a craving for animal fats. The nut butter and the coconut yogurt. What she wants is, of course, full fat cream. Uh, yes, Blenda. Amazing. And what is this melodramatic music? <laughs> yeah, you need more fruit. I feel like watermelon in the summer is like one of the best things ever. Yeah, I agree. It's pretty nice. But also, I got this cuddler chair um on craigslist for 50 bucks and it's a pretty freaking great too it even swivels like i could literally sleep in this thing peace anyways hello everyone my name is caitlin welcome to my channel welcome hello to my caitlin video. if you're new here this is my face this is mine i'm gonna be showing you everything i eat in a day as a vegan if you missed it which you may have i recently moved into a new house which i'm at right now um and things are kind of stressful i'm kind of busy but everything's okay. It's kind of hard. You still have time to record a what I eat in a day. You cannot be that busy. Find a balance between like all these things that you need to do um, with a new house, along with work, along with just like being able to take care of yourself and sleeping well at night and showering and eating good food. So 
I'm trying my best. Sounds really stressful. Overall, things are great though. I'm really happy with where we're at. Yada, yada, yada. I don't want to bore you guys. Thank you. Oh, minutia of my life. <laughs> so I had a pretty chill morning. I had a smoothie, got some work done. I'm eating this watermelon now because I got hungry mm. and realized that I didn't have anything to eat for lunch. So my <laughs> lunch is cooking now. Wow, that's new. Getting hungry after breakfast. Never heard that one before. Classical vegan starvation diet. All you do is drink sugar. Then your insulin rises, it peaks and crashes. What follows is constant hunger throughout the day. Now you start grazing like your herbivore friends, the cows. No. This is my um, snack between breakfast and lunch to tide me over. Is there an official name for that? Veganism. One of the awesome things about this new house is that it's really, really close to a lot of hikes in our area. Um, so we're really excited about that. The dogs are obviously gonna be very excited about that too. Because Yet again, carnivorous pets. All the vegans love to have carnivorous pets. Why don't you buy some bunnies or some birds? To spend time outside. But wait, before I move on, I need to let you know about today's video sponsor, which I am very <laughs> excited about. Let's skip that. And I'll show you what we're eating for lunch. My lunch situation, we have some brown rice that I cooked in the Instant Pot. This is some leftover lentils I just cooked with vegetable broth. Uh, I roasted some cauliflower in the oven with some gar garam masala, just dry roasted. Then I added some cilantro and avocado. Keeping things pretty simple. Now I'm going to go out on the deck and enjoy. And this is what vegans would say a whole food plant-based diet looks like. A healthy, balanced, whole food plant-based diet. You have rice, your starches, you have the legumes for your protein, yeah, sure. And you have your veggies, such as cauliflower, cilantro on top, and you have avocado for your healthy fats. She's obviously doing it right. Wrong. If you would spend just one afternoon researching what this so-called food truly gives you, you would come to the same conclusion as me. Veganism equals malnutrition. The legumes bring you lectins. Very, very bad for your digestion. On top of that, mediocre protein. As always, it is lacking in essential amino acids. The avocado misses essential fat-soluble vitamins, such as vitamin A vitamin d you cannot find it in this avocado just one egg would have more nutrition than your whole meal it is absolutely ridiculous and on top of that everything comes with an abundance of fiber this will give you digestive upset it will make you fart a lot you will run to the toilet the question is how long can you keep this up Maybe you feel good after a month or two. Some people are more resilient. But after years and years of abuse to your young body, you will suffer digestive issues. And then, like the rest of us, you will find shelter in the carnivore community, in the keto community, where you will have to go regiment after regiment to heal your gut. You can spare yourself all that stress by ditching this malnourishment right now. <sighs> nature, oh beautiful nature, a vegan in nature equipped with man-made foods. What would you do in nature? What would you do in the wilderness without those man-made foods? You wouldn't be able to survive. The nature that you like is the domesticated nature. The nature that has been cleaned up of all the dangerous predators. If you would truly challenge yourself and spend some time in the wild, you would see what nature is, what nature means. You would see that you're fooling yourself, that you fell for an agenda, for a huge corporate agenda that is producing your food. You are a slave to the food system. But at the same time, I'm sure you believe you are liberated. It's ridiculous. What does he eat? 
<laughs> oh yes! <laughs> oh, so good! I believe you! Yes! Nice! More packaging! <laughs> Uh, you are insane. currently in my microwave. It actually kind of works out. Oh. Um, we just got back from the hike. It's kind of late, and I knew it was going to be late by the time I got home. So I prepped dinner actually at the other house. Um, I just shared this in a YouTube <sighs> video. I made my one pot vegan butternut squash quinoa. quinoa. Uh, think of a jig. One. I can't think of the name. <laughs> it's quinoa butternut squash chickpeas garlic rosemary. Um, and I made tahini sauce to add to it at the house, but I left it at the house in the fridge. So, um, I'm just winging it, and we don't have very many condiments here right now. So I just added some harissa to it, and then I also added some kale from the garden. So here's what it what? looks like. This is going to be Bleh. our dinner. Bleh. Right. Looks pretty disgusting. I'm gonna plop it in a bowl and sit my booty down. All right, let's analyze this. From what I see, we have some kale, which is super toxic for you. We talked about this numerous times as well on this channel. Even sheep won't touch it. You're cooking it, you're seasoning it, so you will gulp this stuff down because somebody told you that this is healthy. We don't have to become philosophical about this topic. If I think about my grandfather, for example, he went through life without ever eating kale, without ever eating broccoli. If you're aspiring to be healthy, simply go back couple of generations. See what those people ate. See what the common diseases nowadays are and when they started. They all started through the introduction of processed carbohydrates. They all started when we removed ourselves from the land. Now we are eating what we are being told. This looks like the food pyramid. A lot of starches, a lot of grains, a lot of leafy greens. None of this has any, any usable protein. None of this has any essential vitamins for you. This is bloating in a bowl. Nothing more and nothing less. The only thing that you're getting out of this is fiber, yet again. I plop it in a bowl and sit my booty down. We're watching a Kangaroo Jack. <laughs> I've actually never seen it before. And for dessert, we're having some almonds, some chocolate, and I have a glass of slime milk. Just absolute junk. What should I tell you? Chocolate, almonds with all those phytates. Terrible for you, but hey, that's not enough. I'm gonna top it up with soy milk to disrupt my hormones. Almonds some chocolate and I have a glass of slime milk. Wow. Our house is absolute chaos right now. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, you guys can see. <laughs> We're laying on uh, a camping. This is our camping mattress that we folded up into a temporary couch right now. And we're gonna sleep down here too, so. Yup. So that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And Holy. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. But also, don't forget to check out Loopy and get those bars. They're really good. Dylan wanted to eat them all before I even filmed this video, and I had to keep telling him now. So, you know him, right? Uh. Okay, bye. Another cucked bro. All right, and this is it for today's video. Not very spectacular, if you ask me. She won't be able to keep this up. This is probably not how she eats every single day. However, if she eats similar, just fairly similar to this, she will run into bad digestive issues, depression, tooth decay, you name it, very, very soon. I give her one more year tops before all of those symptoms start creeping in. Veganism is absolute torture for your body. Do yourself a favor and stay far away from it. All right, guys, but this is it. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. If you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.